Hi, this is Donica from Focalize, and I'm going to show you how to make your WordPress site completely private. So just head over into your uh, dashboard with forward slash WP admin on the end of your site there, and head down into your plugins tab, hit add new, and search for my private site. So this is a plugin that'll make it quite easy. Uh, just hit install there. You see mine is already installed. And once that's installed, uh, you'll be able to find it in your installed plugins called John Radio Private Site, which is a little bit different name, but sure, this is the same plugin. Hit settings, and you'll be able to set everything up in here. So the plugin is off by default, so it won't make it have any effect until you enable it down here with this checkbox. Um, your login page and any exclusions that you add below will still be visible on the internet, but everything within WordPress will be private. So I'll just enable it here by clicking this and hitting save. So now I have a private site. And there are a few more settings down here that you may or may not want to fiddle with. Uh, you can allow self-registrations for your for your users because, well, when, when your site is set to private, it will only allow logged in users to read the content or see the content. So you'll need to either register your visitors yourself or if you'd like them to be able to do it themselves, then you can use self-registration here. Uh, if you want to just enroll people manually yourself, then you might want to check off anyone can register. The landing location is where the visitors will be sent immediately after they log in. So the default will just send them back to the same URL that they tried to visit, but you can go to the site home or some other specific URL. Um, if you've changed your login URL, if you have a custom login URL, then you can tell the plugin about it here and switch it on there and visible exclusions anything that you would like to leave outside of your little private fence you can add urls here and then there is this allow landing location for custom login pages which apparently under cer some circumstances will lock you out of your own wordpress site so if you have a custom login page and the, the landing location doesn't seem to be working right for you, maybe you'll need to turn this on and maybe you will face that problem. And if you do face that problem, then as it says here, all that you need to do is delete the plugin or rename the folder uh, via an FTP or file manager software on your server. Pretty simple. I hope that helps. Thanks very much.